For what seems like an incredible amount of time now, the fight world has been eagerly anticipating the answer to our one burning question. Who is the best heavyweight boxer of today? We have seen fight after fight of arguably mismatched heavyweights. Established champions face off unheard of opponents time and time again. Well, that's all well and good for revenue and keeping the sport alive, but when will we actually see the fights we've been waiting for? The time is finally here. Look no further. Let's take a closer look together at Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, the trilogy fight. That's right, it's the trilogy. You must have been living under a rock with your head in the sand if you need reminding that these two heavyweight titans have fought twice already before. Just take a look at these two. Compare the physique of two of the most elite boxers on the planet today. Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King on one side, and Deontay Wilder, the Bronze Bomber on the other. Look at the incredible strength of these two. You tell us, which of these two warriors would you least like to meet in a dark alleyway at night time? Indeed, which of these heavyweights is the baddest, meanest, strongest professional boxer right now? Well, it's hard to say. The closer we look at them together, it becomes obvious that both fighters have a truly incredible track record in their field. Tyson Fury has a whopping 30 fights under his belt, including 21 devastating knockouts and only one draw. Any idea who Fury drew against? That's right, you guessed it, Deontay Wilder himself. This was back in December 2018, which controversially ended in a draw between the two. Many fight fans across the world believe Fury to have won the fight, which led to allegations that he had been robbed on American soil. The result proved so controversial, in fact, that it led to a rematch in February 2020. And this fight was truly an amazing spectacle. We all remember when this happened, right? It's all over! Is he gonna get up? Can he get up? Can he get up? He does! This was an absolutely insane moment in heavyweight boxing history. Deontay Wilder causes a lot of debate amongst fight fans across the world is a complete understatement. Many claim that he simply cannot box due to the fact that he does not run in preparation for his fights. Critics also claim that he has a weak jab and almost zero boxing technique. The truth is, Wilder has an astounding 42 professional fights under his belt, with an incredible 41 of these being by knockout. That's right, 41 knockouts. Can you believe that? It's true what they say, Deontay Wilder is the absolute Pablo Picasso of knockouts and the Sith Lord of boxing takedowns. Time and time again, Wilder has faced the opponent put in front of him and used the same weapon to absolutely smash his way to victory. Just look at him here. As you can see, it's pretty clear that Wilder has perfected his signature move. So for all his criticisms, the truth is Wilder has got amazingly far in his boxing career with his unique fighting style. The proof is in the pudding. Wilder's power punches clearly work for him. That's what made it so much more shocking when Fury caught one of these insane punches but still managed to get back up off the canvas. Wilder has literally perfected his knockout punches as this is arguably his main weapon in the ring. He has proven 41 times that when this punch connects, no man is getting back up. But that's exactly what Tyson Fury did. To say that fight fans across the world were shocked is a complete understatement. But does that mean that Fury is more than just a man? Well, we don't know for sure, but the truth is he may be the only boxer out there who has ever survived one of Wilder's power punches in the ring. Not only did Fury survive, but came back to absolutely batter his opponent. Both fighters put on an incredible show of boxing talent, but it was clear from the beginning of this one that Fury had the upper hand. He seemed fully amped and ready to bring the fight straight to Wilder. Before Wilder landed the legendary blow mentioned previously, Fury actually got Wilder to the canvas twice already. It takes some serious skill to outwit Deontay Wilder, and that's exactly what Fury managed to do. There was no question at the end of this one Tyson Fury clearly won the rematch. Which is why the only blemish on Deontay Wilder's almost immaculate fight record is one draw and one loss, both against the Gypsy King. Since the fight back in February 2020, there has been a lot of talk amongst the fight world claiming wild speculation on either side.
Many believe there is sufficient evidence to prove that Tyson Fury actually cheated in the fight by various outlandish means, including tampering with his gloves. Whether this is actually true remains to be seen, but it has certainly built up a lot of anticipation for the trilogy fight. It is widely hoped that this third fight will finally settle who is the best heavyweight in the division today. The winner of this fight will end all doubt. Does Wilder's insane power prove to put him ahead, or will the Gypsy King's incredible boxing intelligence and agility see him gain victory a second time? It's truly hard to say at this point. If we look back to one of Fury's most difficult challenges previously, we can see a huge array of well-developed artillery being used. That's right, we're talking about when Fury faced Klitschko in the ring. This fight caused a massive upset as Fury not only won, but actually made the long-reigning European champion look confused and almost messy. It's pretty obvious here that Fury is able to get right inside the head of his opponents. His speed and vast spectrum of perfectly timed feints and jabs gradually works to break down the rhythm and morale of even some of the most hard hitters in the division. Von Fury probiert diesen Kampf über die Runden zu bringen. Jetzt müsste die Glocke kommen, das ist es. Beide From the United Kingdom, the new unified heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson. If Fury was able to employ more of this style in the trilogy fight with Wilder, perhaps we could see a similar outcome again. With footwork as good as this, it's difficult to see how Wilder could even land another one of his bronze bombs on the British champion, but if he did, well, what would be the outcome? We've already seen Wilder land a clean shot right on Fury's dome, and somehow this wasn't enough to keep Fury down. This is what's provoking many fight fans to argue that Wilder will need to employ much more than just power against Fury this time. If Wilder wants a realistic chance at winning this fight, he may actually need to switch it up, strategize much more about his technique, and try something new. That said, it is never worth the risk for any fighter to take another one of Wilder's insane bronze bombs. Fury should think twice about letting himself get caught by one of these again. Could Fury get back up a second time? This time he might not be so lucky. In fact, many who claim that Wilder is only a one-trick pony may want to look a little closer at some of his previous fights. Anyone remember this, when Wilder faced seasoned journeyman Ortiz in the ring? Many would argue that this fight proves Wilder also has solid foundations of endurance in his toolkit. Wilder was unable to get the early knockout here, so it took a while of wearing his opponent down, being patient and intelligent with his timing, before he was actually able to take Ortiz out. Indeed, Wilder fans would argue that it's only ever a matter of time. Eventually, every boxer makes a mistake, and when they do, they better hope they don't get hit with one of these. But what about you? What do you think? Will this trilogy fight end with Fury taking a second victory and proving to fight fans across the world that he truly is the best heavyweight boxer in the division today? Or will Wilder show the fight world that he has not only improved his style, but also developed his toolkit to outsmart Fury and ensure that he lands a signature bronze bomb right on his face? You tell us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for future updates to our videos. And if you know anything about boxing, watch the link in the description below for more detailed breakdowns of some of boxing's most legendary fighters. The anticipation has been made even more intense following a delay in this fight taking place due to Tyson Fury's camp contracting COVID. The fight world is now more ready than ever to see these two battle it out in the ring a third time and finally prove who is the undisputed best of the two.